slapped him those times. Were you attempting to cause him physical pain or physical impairment? Was that what you were attempting to do to him? No. What were, no. You, what were you attempting to do? What was the reason behind the slapping and stuff? What was, what was it you were attempting to accomplish by slapping? I was trying to get him to stop telling me to hunt him. Well, it doesn't sound to me like she attempted to injure him. I am separating the two of you tonight. Okay? I want you guys both to be tonight away from each other. Relax. Breathe. Crying. Because there's no reason to be crying now. Okay? This is... I understand that this can feel like it's a nightmare. But you're coming out as the golden flower on top of it. Okay? So... That is brand new video of Gabby Petito just 13 days before she went missing. What you just saw here and heard was body cam footage. This was after police were called on Gabby and her boyfriend, Brian Laundry. Petito told the police that the two had gotten frustrated with each other and she tried to apologize for getting angry, but they say that they didn't find enough evidence of any crime. So as you heard, they separated the couple for the night, but they let them go. They did ask Gabby and Brian to stay away from each other for that evening, as you heard, to just breathe and calm down. Well, here we are about a month later. Brian's right here in Northport area. Gabby missing. Her family says the one person who could help find her is Brian. That's him. And he's refusing to talk to investigators here in Southwest Florida, but this is what we know thus far. August 12th police were called on Gabby and Brian. That's the video you just watched a moment ago. Officers say the couple did not want to press charges and then Petito's family stopped hearing from her. In fact, the last text that she received from Gabby, her mother that is, received from Gabby was on August 30th. And investigators believe that Brian has the information that can help find her. But as of this morning, Laundry's attorney says he does not plan to talk to anybody because his statements could be used against him and a criminal defense attorney that we spoke with says until police know for sure whether or not a crime took place legally, there's really nothing that they can do. They cannot force you to share information. Um, you have a Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate yourself. Uh, I've heard that he's hired attorneys from New York, so I assume he's not going to say anything, uh, especially if it could get him into any type of trouble. So police are processing the van in which the pair was traveling. A spokesperson says they found, quote, material that will be analyzed, but they're not going to say what that material was specifically. Coming up here on ABC 7 at 7.30 this morning on Good Morning America, the police chief of Northport, Todd Garrison, will be joining the GMA anchors live with an analysis as the Northport Police Department and the FBI continue to investigate Gabby's disappearance.